Good morning. Well, here we are, Monday of another week, and you can tell the weather's taken a turn for the better uh, by the fact that I've taken my raincoat off. I've taken it off, basically, because the chair's wet, so I've put the raincoat cover uh, over the chair. But at the same time, it really is mild compared to the freezing conditions we've had for so long. So spring-like springs to mind. Now, this morning, I wanted to talk about um, two projects. The first one is, if you follow the Bath Museum, you'll know I've done a, a story about uh, Bain's uh, considering a proposal to uh, transfer the um, 24 hectare site, which is Bathampton Meadows, uh, to the National Trust. Now, that, says the Council, would secure the future of the meadows as a green space and a wildlife habitat. Um, if your memory is uh, as good as mine, in other words, it goes back a few years, you'll remember Bathampton Meadows uh, was under threat uh, during the last administration uh, in being turned into the east of Bath Park and Ride. In fact, one would go so far to say that the uh, sitting Conservative MP lost his seat because he backed the wrong side, uh, the people who wanted to do just that. Well, if you've uh, been walking that way uh, in uh, recent weeks, after all the rain, uh, you'll see that Bathampton Meadows is uh, a natural place to soak up water, whether it's uh, the overflowing River Avon overflowing onto its flood plain or just torrential rainfall. But anyway, I think we're all basically pleased to see that the meadows will continue to be meadows. And um, I think this is a fairly good idea. Now, the only point I raised is that uh, coming under National Trust ownership, would that mean that we would have to pay, uh, if we weren't National Trust members, would have to pay for the privilege of uh, crossing um, the right-of-way on Bathampton Meadows and uh, Richard Samuel, uh, who is the Deputy Leader of the Council and the Cabinet Member for Resources, uh, when I put that question to him, uh, came through and told me that the intention is that the Trust will maintain public access much as they do in other parts of Bath, such as the, uh, the Skyline walks. But when the management uh, plan is drawn up, he said he imagines it would identify different uses uh, on the meadows. So no existing rights of way would be changed, but it's possible some areas would be reserved for nature. And that, I think, is a very good idea. So uh, I would welcome uh, that move to see more land more green land uh, around the city of Bath being transferred to uh, the keep of the National Trust, which, if you didn't know, has more members in Bath than anywhere else in the country. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was what was previously known as the Archway Project. Now, that's a multi-million pound scheme to uh, transform the old laundry, the Victorian laundry, to the side of the Roman baths uh, into both a learning centre and a world heritage centre. Called the Archway Project because of the ornate archway that links buildings on either side of York Street. The archway disguises pipework that passed uh, to and from uh, the buildings during the time it was a laundry. It was good to see on going into town on my daily walk that the hoarding around the building has come down and what a transformation uh, the new windows are in to the World Heritage Centre because we've got to stop calling it the Archway Project now and it is the World Heritage Centre which is on the ground floor uh, and upstairs uh, and towards the back you've got the Claw Learning Centre. 
Now, the World Heritage Centre, it has been installed not only because it's a good idea, but it was one of the conditions laid down uh, by UNESCO in the granting of Bath, uh, the centre of Bath, World Heritage status. One of the conditions was that there should be a place where people can go and understand what world heritage status means and how the city got it. Um, so there would be displays showing our Roman archaeology, our Georgian architecture, our setting uh, and our social history, all reasons why we were granted world heritage uh, status. So um, peering into the window, you can see that um, apart from the workmen having their, um, their elevenses, their cup of tea, that um, the place has to be fitted out now. And looking around the back and uh, pointing my iPhone upwards, uh, you can see work on the um, roof. Um, the learning centre is going to be divided into two parts, I think, upstairs. Um, one called Sulis and one called Minerva and both of them will have skylights on top uh, to allow um, a lot of natural light through and to give a very interesting view of the uh, the old boiler house chimney which is being retained. So good to see that happening and, and good to know that the idea is it will be finished and ready for opening by early summer. Uh, that's the latest. I, I won't tie Baines down to uh, a more precise time than that. But as I was showing the other day with uh, the, the work starting either side of the river uh, on the uh, north and south Keys development site, that a work is continuing uh, on developing um, commercial enterprises that will form part of Bath's future. I also, didn't I, took a, a picture of the new hotel going up beside Bath College. Uh, these are all schemes that are aimed towards the future. And we mustn't forget that uh, when we do eventually crawl out of this viral misery, that we must be there to support Bath and its future, and uh, not only support our, our traders, um, but to support those who are producing new schemes and new ideas for Bath's future. End of my lecture. I had a bit of a reality check this morning. I, I don't normally look in the mirror. I'm not that vain, but I was shaving, so I did. And I thought, hmm, where are the scales? And I found them where I'd hidden them. I try and hide them to forget where they are climbed on them and realized I had put on an immense amount of weight. I'm not going to share my current weight with you, but it was a bit of a reality check. So um, me and my partner are going to try and help each other with doing something about uh, the excess baggage uh, we seem to have acquired during the latest lockdown. And I mustn't be miserable because it is something I can do something about. And that's important, isn't it? Anyway, the light's lovely. And I'm gonna walk home now and uh, commit this to YouTube uh, and to my website. And don't forget, you can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you only have to click follow in the bottom of the uh, screen that opens when you put in www.bartmuseum.com. There's a little tab at the bottom right hand corner which says follow. And if you click on that, uh, every time I post something, it will appear in your emails. So whatever you're doing this Monday, be positive, be safe, and uh, be sure that um, we are going in the right direction. Have a good day.